English 111, Reading 1, Chapter 8, Ethics in Education, Text 2, Plagiarism, Chapter 8, Ethics in Education, Text 2, Plagiarism. Plagiarism means using somebody else's words or ideas without giving that person credit. Plagiarism is not allowed at North American schools, including elementary schools, high schools, colleges and universities. Plagiarism is sometimes intentional, but it can also be accidental. American schools punish both types. For example, school often asks students who commit plagiarism to leave. It's a big problem today because the internet makes it easy to find articles and copy them. It's easy to copy something by accident, so it's very important to know how to avoid plagiarism. Citing sources, giving credit, is the best way to avoid plagiarism. Here are some tips from Purdue University for citing sources. Knowing when to cite sources. Sometimes you need to give credit to other people's ideas. Sometimes you don't. How do you know? You need to cite sources when you are using somebody else's words or ideas from any source including magazines, books, newspapers, songs, TV programs, movies, web pages, computer programs, letters or advertisements. You copy exact words from anywhere. You use someone else's diagrams, illustrations, charts or pictures. You use ideas that you got from other people in an interview, a conversation or an email. You do not need to cite sources when you are writing about your own experiences, your own observations, your own thoughts or your own ideas about a subject. You are using common knowledge, for example, folklore common sense observations, the sun rises in the east, or shared information within your field of study or your culture. You are writing about generally accepted facts, for example, the laws of science, you're writing the results of your own experiment. Making sure that you are safe. Purdue University has many suggestions for avoiding plagiarism during the writing process. Here are some of them. When you are doing research for a paper, mark everything in your notes that uses someone else's words, a big Q for quote, or with big quotation marks. Mark ideas that are from sources with an S. Mark your own ideas with me. Make notes on all of the source information, including the authors, titles, page numbers, and dates of your source material. Do not wait until later to find this information. When you quote, mention the person's name either at the beginning of the quote or at the end. Put quotation marks around the words that you are quoting. For example, James Laver, a costume historian said, quote, The dress of any given period is exactly suited to the actual climate of the time. End quote. No one wants to plagiarize intentionally, and if you follow these guidelines, you'll probably avoid accidental plagiarism too. End of text 2.